this weekend, uh, we got a little bit of disappointing news from the president. Our initial 15-day uh, quarantine has been extended, as many of you know, to 30 days. And uh, this made me think about a, a verse from Proverbs 13, verse 12. It says, a hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is the tree of life. For the Weber family, uh, today kind of marks a, a day where we realize that our hope in many ways for a quick end to the quarantine has been um, deferred. I'm beginning to work from home. Uh, the children are starting their online schooling because they can't go back to uh, school. And, uh, and I'm now in the midst of preparing another uh, service uh, that we're going to be recording earlier in the week and then being in our homes uh, separated from each other, uh, worshiping in our living rooms and, and uh, in, our, in our offices and anywhere that we can receive this online worship service. And the hope of being together, even maybe by Easter, uh, has been deferred. And it makes my heart sick uh, because I'm desired to be with you. And I'm sure that many of you have had your hopes for many things deferred, not just coming together uh, on Sundays for church, but also I know people who have uh, graduations that they're not going to be able to go to. There are weddings that ha are having to be delayed. Uh, there are all sorts of special family events uh, that have been put on hold because of this. And our hope has been deferred, and it's made our hearts sick. And yet we realize uh, that even as a hope deferred makes the heart sick, a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. And this does seem, this 30-day extension does seem like an eternity at this point, and yet it will pass very quickly. And soon enough, we will come back together, and our desire to be with one another will be fulfilled. I'm already dreaming about what the first worship service is going to look like uh, when we come all back together as a worshiping body at Rivermont, the joy and excitement of gathering with one another, being able to shake hands and hug one another, uh, to allow you guys to hold baby Josephine, who's growing up so quickly, uh, to share our lives with one another again. This makes me think of the reality that as Christians, we should be well-equipped, and we are well-equipped to handle situations like this. Because the reality is, is that whether there is a 30-day uh, quarantine or not, all of us are called to be exiles in this world, wandering in a strange land and waiting for our hope to be fulfilled, our desire to be not just with the visible body of Christ, but to be with the entire body of Christ and with Christ himself in the new heavens and the new earth. For that is the true day of rejoicing that we are to look forward to. When the Lord Jesus returns and unites all of us together in that time of worship that will last for eternity. And so in this time when you have a heart that's sick because your hope has been deferred, look forward to that time when you know that you will have your desires completely fulfilled. The time when Jesus returns and we'll all be worshiping together as one. Let us pray. Father, we come to you at this time, and we confess before you that we are disappointed uh, in this providence that has led us to a place where we have to be isolated from one another, isolated in our homes, unable in order to enjoy the blessings of being with one another. Father, we uh, know, though, in hope and in faith in Christ that this is just a short period of time and that our desires will be fulfilled. They'll be fulfilled soon enough when we come together and worship as a body at Rivermont. But even more than that, our desire to be with you will be fulfilled on that day when you come and join all of your people together. And all of your people from every tongue, tribe, people, and nation will join our voices together to worship you. We pray all of this with great hope and confidence in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you, Rivermont. Look forward to that day when we will see one another again.